What is going on, party people? It's your boy, Uncle Jim. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another fantastic video. Today, we're doing a reaction video to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare story trailer. I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. I've said it time and time again that I've always played the games since I was very young, probably too young to be playing Call of Duty, and I've always been a big fan. So I'm looking forward to getting back to campaign mode, getting back to Captain Price, and getting back to some real gritty gameplay, something that we haven't had, in my opinion, in quite some time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do my reaction. So I'm going to kind of let the video play in the background as I go over my thoughts on the trailer that I just watched. Uh, I watched it for the first time just now, and I'm pretty excited about a lot of the things that I saw. Uh, the cinematics look amazing. There's no denying that. Uh, I doubt they'll look that great in the finished game. The, you know, the cinematics always look so good. The gameplay always looks so good. And the game comes out and it's like not as great. <laughs> it's not as perfect. Uh, it'll still be good, don't get me wrong. But it won't be It won't be the polished, perfect gameplay that we saw in the trailer. Uh, I'm looking forward to this new Captain Price. He seems really cool. There's like a new attitude to him. A new swagger almost. And as much as I love the old Captain Price, I, I kind of want to see what this new, this new version, this new uh, iteration of him brings to the table. Uh, I'm really enjoying the geopolitical, gritty, dark, real aspect that the game's kind of brought about. Uh, I think the last couple of CODs have kind of had, like, specs of real-world storytelling involved in them. Uh, Infinite Warfare had a little bit of it, and then Advanced Warfare had a little bit of it. But just about everything else has kind of been like, with Ghosts, there was no real, real story at all. Black Ops 3, there was next to none, uh... Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign, <laughs> so a lot of this is just, it, it lacks that reality, it lacks that grit, it lacks that connection, and in a lot of ways it lacks empathy. You're not able to empathize with the characters or empathize with the reality, and I'm really excited to kind of get back to that real-world storytelling. Uh, I really liked the, like, chemical weapons and the, the like, the, the, the terror that's kind of been brought to the story. Uh, I loved seeing it in Modern Warfare 3 where it's just very shocking and graphic and you know, sometimes you need that in a video game where the, the audience just goes, <gasps> like, has that moment of, wow, that was intense. Because otherwise, there's no there's no risk. There's no stakes involved. And that kind of elu uh, eliminates anything important in the game. So I'm happy to see that come back, too. But uh, other than that, I'm, I'm really excited about the game. I've been a big Call of Duty fan for a number of years, a very long time. And I cannot wait to see what this new game brings to the table in terms of storytelling elements in terms of uh, character development. All those new characters that we saw, I'm super excited to get a taste of them and, and see what they bring to the table. But overall, I'm pretty hyped about the game and I'm pretty excited to see what that campaign uh, adds to the legacy of Modern Warfare. That's all for right now, guys. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please click like down below and don't forget to ring that little notification bell so you can see whenever I upload. I know my uploads have been a little choppy recently. Uh, I've been working like crazy. But I get back into the swing of things. So if you enjoyed the video, do all those things that I always ask you for. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.